when I found out I was selected as one of the artists for the Richard Mille Art Prize, I think, yeah, I was, I was ecstatic, but I was also like, oh my God, how am I gonna get through the next few months? Um, yeah, it was definitely a shock, but in a good way, in a good way. My name is Lame Gargash. Uh, I'm an artist. I've been in the art world for over two decades. I'm represented by the Third Line Gallery in Dubai. The concept of sand is very interesting because sand is very unique. Sand carries with it endless stories. It takes millions of years for a grain of sand to be formed and every grain of sand is unique. So I thought, use that in a way and use something as simple as a beach ball, which also signifies family connections, unity, but also shared human experiences. So I wanted to create something that would make a statement that says, um, I'm here, I'm unapologetic, this is who I am, and you know, if life gives you sand, then make a beach ball, a ginormous beach ball. <laughs> the, the theme awakening and inspired the artwork, but it's also been my journey over the last decade. I just felt it was complementary to my work and to my concepts and my messages, this idea of a growth and evolution of, of the self and finding yourself amidst all the chaos. And, you know, you go through different chapters in your life or you're, you know, a student or a mother or, you know, um, and I think along the way you lose yourself. So for me, I've definitely gone through a renaissance and a rebirth. And I believe everyone goes through their own channels of dark and light. And once they get to the other side and find themselves, then they, they find their purpose and they find their calling. It just felt really, I resonated with it. This whole idea of 3D sand printing is, is quite revolutionary because with sand, obviously it's sustainable, you know, it can be broken down and you can recreate something new with it. It's also, in terms of weather, it's very heat resistant and it, it can create, you can you can go crazy with ideas. There's there, It's seamless as well. So. I was working with someone who was suggesting it for a project uh, of something that I was designing back home and I thought, you know, I don't understand why more people don't use this. It's quite revolutionary, it's quite futuristic as well. Silica is quite strong, but it's also heat resistant. And it, the concept is basically just like 3D printing layering and then you've got adhesive and then layering. So layering until you get to the point of the creation of the artwork or the, the element that you want to produce. 